Hi, I'm Kara Ray and I'm excited to be working with Great College Advice. I am standing here on the shores of Lake Fairley, right outside of Thetford, Vermont, where I grew up. I grew up just about 15 minutes from Dartmouth College where both of my parents worked. My dad worked in the career services office, my mom worked in residential education and judicial affairs. So I really grew up around higher education my whole life. I attended a small school in Thetford, Vermont called Thetford Academy um, where I was very involved. I participated in a lot of sports and musical theater. I was involved with our student council and National Honor Society. Uh, so I really took advantage of all that high school had to offer and loved growing up here in Vermont. Towards the end of high school, I started my college search, so I went on a lot of different tours of different schools, and I really found that I was interested in attending a small liberal arts private school, so I was looking at schools like Williams and Bowdoin and Colby and Middlebury, and my parents took me on a tour of Colgate University. And I went to Colgate and actually on my tour it was pouring rain, uh, but I just fell in love with the campus. It was a beautiful campus, really friendly, outgoing people, and I loved the size of the university. It was, it was sm a small school, but it was a little bit bigger than some of the other ones I was looking at. It provided some great opportunities both academically and extracurricularly, and really wanted to uh, be at a place that was in a great college town like Hamilton, New York, and I really found that Colgate was going to be a good fit. So I decided to apply early decision. I got in and that's where I headed next. So when I got to Colgate, um, it was a school that just felt like a really good fit and I was excited to get involved at Colgate. So I got involved in a lot of different things. I joined an acapella group, I continued um, my hobby of figure skating, I was joined a sorority, I did a lot of volunteer work. But one of the most meaningful experiences that I had was getting involved with our admissions office at Colgate. I started off as a greeter, which meant that I got to sit in the admissions office and, and meet with prospective families when they came to visit the campus, and then I became a tour guide, so I led families as they were visiting on walking tours of the campus, and then I continued to get more involved throughout my Colgate career, where I took on a role as a senior intern, so that meant that I had the chance to actually do the interviews with students when they came to meet with us on campus, so I had the chance to actually sit one-on-one -on -one with prospective students, answer questions that they had about Colgate and really give them a feel for what the application process was going to look like and what to expect of their Colgate experience. I loved doing that. I ended up staying actually for a summer to work in the admissions office and continue giving tours and do some other office projects and really just found this passion for work in the admissions field. I also started to, um, on the academic side, to learn a little bit what I was interested in studying. I took a wide variety of classes. Um, I ended up with a major in Peace and Conflict Studies, which brought together a lot of my academic interests that ranged from international affairs to political science and geography, and really combined all of those things into one major. I also decided to have a minor in geography and fulfilled some major or minor requirements in political science as well. And when it came time for my junior year, I decided um, to study abroad. So one of the great things about Colgate is that it had a wide variety of study abroad opportunities and I decided to go on the Colgate Australia study group. So I traveled to Wollongong, Australia where I was living um, in a residence hall with students both from the United States as well as all over the world and Australia and got to study um, geography, geology and um, Aboriginal studies and had an amazing study abroad experience and one of the best things that I came away with was a group of lifelong friends that I made there. So um, when I came back to the United States, I, we actually decided to have a reunion, all of us who had met in Australia, out in Boulder, Colorado, where one of those friends lived. So I traveled out to Colorado for, for a vacation and went out there and fell in love with Boulder, Colorado and all that it had to offer. Just thought it was a gorgeous place. I loved the mountains. And when I came back and was starting my job search my senior year and decided that I wanted to look for admissions positions, uh, I decided to apply to the University of Colorado Boulder for a position as an admissions counselor. So when I got the job as an admissions counselor at the University of Colorado Boulder, I packed my bags, moved out. I didn't know um, too many people who lived there, but I was excited to try something new and live someplace new and exciting. So I moved there and started my career in admissions. 
So I spent six years in the admissions office at the University of Colorado Boulder, starting off as an admissions counselor, moving up to an assistant director, and finally as a senior assistant director in the office. I was able to take on a lot of different roles where um, I traveled across the country, both on the east and west coast, meeting with hundreds of students as they were exploring their college options. I read thousands of applications, college essays, letters of recommendation, worked with lots of high school counselors, as well as I also got to run on our tour guide program, our campus visit programs, and most recently some of the um, admitted student day programs. So I really got to see students as they went through the entire process with admissions with our office at, at Boulder. And it was wonderful. I had such a great experience working there. I love the people. Boulder is just a fantastic school. And I really found this passion for working with students and helping them find the right place to go to school. While at the University of Colorado Boulder, I had the chance to work with a lot of different offices on the campus, ranging from financial aid and scholarships to residential education to our safety and security on campus, and it really gave me a good glimpse into what it meant to be part of a college campus and higher education kind of in a bigger picture. From there, I decided to go on to graduate school. So I went to the University of Denver to pursue my master's degree in higher education, specifically with a focus in college student development. And while I was in graduate school, I had the chance to focus even more on the student transition to college and really what helps make a student be successful in that transition as they move on from high school. Outside of my work at the university, I've had the chance to get involved with a number of different professional organizations. So I've been part of the executive board for RMACAC, which is the Rocky Mountain Association of College Admission Counseling, as well as some other local associations like our Colorado Council with high school and college relations, um, participated as a delegate for the National Association for College Admission Counseling, and, and many more. And I really enjoy those building those professional relationships between colleges and counselors. Um, so it really helps the students and families that I work with. With. Outside of my work, um, I really enjoy spending time um, in the mountains in Boulder, Colorado, where I live with my husband and two dogs, um, and just really enjoy taking advantage of all that Colorado has to offer. I'm really happy to be working with Montgomery Educational Consulting, great college advice, um, for the chance that it gives me to work one-on-one -on -one with families and really help them navigate the college admissions process. It's a big decision for students to decide where they're going to attend college and spend their next four years and I really hope that I can serve families well by helping the students find a place that they're excited about, passionate about, um, but really ultimately a place that is a good fit for them.